Welcome back to The Greener Lawn. Today we are going to be doing soil tests. I was uh, sent this by my soil. They were nice enough to send this to me and uh, let's see what they've sent me. Sweet. Thank you, my soil. So when you're setting up your lawn regimen for the season, it is always good to set it up off of what your lawn and your soil actually needs. So to do that, we have to do a soil test. We're not going to beat around the bush. I am going to show you how simplistic it is to do a soil test today. You don't even need one of these, but Thank you again, my soil. All you are going to be doing is choosing in your yard whether or not you break it up into two samples or one sample um, for your front yard versus your backyard. You are going to take anywhere from 10 to 15 core samples throughout the yard and taking the six inch down mark, putting that into the bag, and then we will be mashing it up. You don't have to use one of these. You can use a little spade shovel. You can use a big shovel. You just need six inches down. Make sure that you clean it out, that it's a good solid soil sample and that's all you need. So here we have a pretty established lawn. He's been in the yard for 16 years. 16 years. So this has been pretty established at this point in time. We just kind of need a baseline to make some solid corrections. On this lawn, we are going to supplement with an existing company who comes in and fertilizes. So we just are gonna give it what it needs on the backside of it and relay some information to his company if they are willing to make any changes there. We only need 10 to 15 of them. So I like to do kind of a grid pattern. I like to get it at a corner, corner, middle, middle, corner, corner. Um, just so that I have kind of a, a soil sample of a downhill, uphill, middle where it could collect and then corners okay so then all it is is take there we go okay so now this has this little bit right here there is some root matter down here that i will pull out so we don't have any false readings there and all i'm going to take is just this teeny little sample right here and we're going to get 10 to 15 of these little samples like this yep that is it <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and then since these are so small, I'm not even going to bother putting it back in. I'm just going to kind of crumble it up so that it then just will blend back down and in. So you're getting a core aeration while I'm doing this. But yeah, look at your, your soil here. How nice, makes it nice when we're building a base and we're going to start actually promoting this even more. I like taking them out of these types of like areas where you can see a little bit of stress in here just to see what's going on. So the reason why you pull several samples within your lawn is because you're gonna notice as you're going through it, you're gonna have different types of soil even throughout your own lawn. But his backyard, you can see how, like how much this is not dark, rich, chocolatey. But if I core it right here, I'm bottoming it out. Now you can see the difference. This is so much richer. It goes way deeper down and into the soil. It's been amended. You definitely are only seeing roots to this point, about a four inch plug. This next to it's an eight inch plug. And I bet you anything that we can see root matter all the way down at the bottom of it. Yep, see the roots in there? All the way down at the bottom of that. So different areas within your lawn definitely perform a lot differently. So you have to look at them separately throughout your lawn and make it make sense on a soil test. You can put it all together and then treat it the same, but when you have an area that's not doing as well, it's better if you're gonna do one soil sample just to run that area versus the areas that are doing good. Um, but to get a general basis for the whole yard is probably the best I did to be able to approach it that way. But understand that the areas that are doing poorly need a little bit more love. So after you've taken your soil sample, combine the collection soil in a large plastic bag or bucket and mix thoroughly. Break up any large chunks. Make sure you don't have any roots, debris, or anything like that inside of there. Next, you go to registering your kit. There's two ways of doing it. You can download the app and or you can go to the website. Once you've registered your kit, you go ahead and 
take the provided scoop, collect one level scoop from the mixed soil and add it to the jar containing DI water and nutrient absorbing capsule. Firmly secure the lid. Do not dump the water that's included out of the jar. Mail your sample into the lab within one day of collecting the sample. Once your kit has been registered, you will be emailed notifications of sample progress. Getting your results, you will be notified via email when your results are ready, usually six to eight business days from the time the sample was sent. Log into the app and or link that is provided. Results provided include available macro and micronutrient levels and pH. That is when we go ahead and take a look at the soil sample and we address the needs that it tells us that you need. As you can see from this soil sample, this provider is only giving this lawn nitrogen. They admit it. They told this client that they're only giving it a bunch of nitrogen. That's it. So we are able to take that and now supplement in what this lawn needs. You can see how stripped these nutrients are. Now we take this information and we turn it into what this soil needs to make it go to the next level. If you need help with your soil tests, reading them and deciphering what you need to be applying in your lawn, please reach out to me at jeremyofthegreenerlawn at gmail.com and we can go ahead and do that. This has been a part of my coaching program and the end of this is kind of how I walk through a client's yard. You will notice that it's super beneficial because Yes, we're taking a soil sample, but you will also notice that we are talking over the client's needs to address within their yard to make their yard go to the next level. There's so much more than just a soil sample happening here. Listen to this whole interaction and just pay attention. This is what a good long coaching program can do for you. Do you know about how much topsoil you put in here? Um, maybe two inches at best. Because this right here is our natural clay soil. Mm -hmm. And so it has amended itself pretty darn um, far down. It has a good six to eight inches down every time I hit one of these plugs. And so it's actually amended itself. So this soil is doing extremely well, as should be after 15, 16 years. But yeah, it's definitely um, amending itself and it's doing extremely well. That's why your yard performs pretty effortlessly, except for when we had this past year. That's what the soil test is going to tell us, is figure out what it's needing on the backside of it, and then it will definitely help it out. Yeah, I noticed the other morning that I was getting a reflection off the solar panels onto the fence. They were brighter in the mm -hmm. one section you could see because it was like a diagonal line. Gotcha. Now everything that happens, I'm thinking, I wonder if that's affecting mm -hmm. my grass. <laughs> well, you can look at it like that 100%. Like it's a good thing to come out and kind of assess everything. Because when you're going to the tilt of doing a soil sample like this, you want to kind of pay attention to other mitigating circumstances and factors. Oh yeah, this is a lot harder. You don't have uh, moisture over here. Did you do the same stuff back same here? Same front and back. Yeah, this isn't receiving the same types of uh, moisture so and stuff. So this could be a watering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, it hits It hits a certain level. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference in this. Mm -hmm. Can you see the, yeah. the coloration difference here? It's much Yeah, you don't have... Dark and... Yeah, you don't have as rich of amending back here. And your thatch layer. Mm -hmm. This is a thatch layer right here. So you could even keep um, continue to hit this area okay because that right there is going to block the nutrients and stuff so you could be combating a thatch issue in here okay. compounding it with a watering issue um, and then obviously maybe some nutrient deficiencies but definitely a watering issue because i can't get this down and into that soil much at all it's interesting to see see how this is more chocolatey we're going back to the chocolatey further we come into your lawn so this probably is performing a little bit better back yep, here. Right, right here will perform a little bit better. It tends to struggle kind of over into here. And you can see where those areas tend to get a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Right in here, it's going to typically struggle. Okay. Yeah, I can retell you. Not as chocolatey. I am going to even it out because that is now only, we only have taken two, so I will even it out with a couple of places, yeah. kind of get an overall sample back here. But I wanna 
I want to hit most of the bad places. You can see right here where it kind of starts to break and it's really starting to hit that clay yeah. again. Once again, you can kind of see the clear definition of where we're having clay breaks, where it hasn't amended itself down and in here as deep. Yeah, because right over there, I kind of didn't want to hit one of those urine spots. Just come and do a few of these, and then you just keep moving on. Videos make it such a pain in the butt. You're trying to narrate everything. Have you been putting sand and stuff in here? No. There's like a layer of sand in here. Can you see it? You see that layer yeah. of sand? Yeah. yeah. There's layer of sand in here. Well, this would have had... Yeah, I'm trying to think what I oh, do you have sand base on those? Underneath these pavers, but I wouldn't have gone that far over because we literally just cut right around the pavers oh yeah I, I literally laid the pavers on top of the grass cut around them and then and then set, set them down in so um once again you can see that when you get down that distance it's starting to show its clay yeah then i'll double up in those areas that we did that we hit oh. it's like a rock layer and still have some fashion there so when we go to seed, if you want to hit it again. Batch it again before yeah. we seed it. Okay. I think that it would do really well if we get a little bit more aggressive on it because we have water. So Yeah, see? That's surprising, but you know why though? It's not struggling. <laughs> During the hottest part of the day, that shade right there. Yeah. So. Okay. This this whole area by six o'clock is in shade. Yeah. So the hottest part of the day. This is performing. Has a decent amount of organic matter down in here that okay. it's been amending itself with. So definitely looking pretty good back here. You have root structure all the way down too. The other place that I had root structure down was your front yard that far down. Yeah. Or else if I had any kind of roots that would hold them. Nice. Let's see how nice and chocolatey again. Yeah. But we have a thatch layer in there again. Okay. That's getting a little bit. So we can definitely fit it again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, get a little bit more aggressive, but you'll have water, so it'll make sense. Good you have um, decent soil moisture in a lot of places, though. Those places that are struggling do not have decent soil moisture. Baby shampoo the crap out of those places. And those are the areas that we last year started noticing the most. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, we're, what this is telling me, though, um, is that we really need to pay attention to your watering when you turn it on. It's coverage. We got to run a cup test okay. just to double check these areas. We won't have to do the whole lawn because it seems like other places are doing pretty well. We'll just cup test it in these zones right here and um, get those dialed in a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit nicer right in this area. So it's not as bad right here. It's more like over, more towards where you're standing, which is where I took that first sample. Yeah. And small little changes like that make a huge difference but I'm not seeing any kind of root development or anything all the way down here I'm gonna double check to see because I didn't get a good core out of that Can you get the screwdriver cleared out? no I got the top out yeah see a park right here there's a layer that's just right down there that I'm not going through there's something right here there we go, see? These two holes are right here, but something right here just, just basically bottomed out, and it's a difference. So, yeah, get some baby shampoo and run a little bit more water to get moisture down in these, um, and it will really help it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me at jeremyofthegreenerlawn at gmail.com. If you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and watch this video right here. It will teach you how to decipher your soil test results. I'm Jeremy of the Greener Lawn. Make her green.